Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is auto mesh reduction. Okay, so first things first, the auto mesh reduction I'm referring to is the version that was added in Unreal Engine 4.14 and prior to this you would use a another program that was built in if you had the license called Simply Gone. As of 4.14 they've added an auto mesh reduction directly into the engine and we're going to go ahead and look at that. So this is pretty simple. This basically allows the engine to automatically create LOD groups based on automatic settings and it allows it to basically crush meshes down to lower triangles and vertices counts based on your settings inside the engine itself. What do I mean by this? Well this is a sphere consists of 2000 triangles that when I slowly go out it drops it to another LOD group this sphere looking thing and then even lower into this pyramid hedron looking thing. Now this was created by making three separate meshes in a third party program, importing it in as three different LOD groups and setting them up automatically. Now let's look at this in 4.14. Here's the default sphere in 4.14. We can see it's 960 triangles and the approximate size, etc, etc. A new option is number of LODs. Prior to this, in the earlier version, number of LODs will be grayed out and it tells you it's unavailable. You need to use Simply Gone. In 4.14, you can now, if you have Simply Gone installed, use that, or it has auto mesh reduction built in. We can adjust it using the number of LODs. Now, just doing this isn't really going to do anything. Let's say I wanted four LODs and I hit apply. Well, we're going to see something happen when we do that, but it may not give us the exact settings we want. It's just going to give us the default settings. So if we zoom out, actually, we and look at the top left, you can see it going from LOD 0 to one, two, and three instantly. But I mean, we're not really seeing too much of a difference between the three of them. You can see that we have basically 960 triangles at all three. We can see the screen size is at some defaults, but our reduction settings are all going to be at 100%. Well, the reason for that is we haven't actually told it what type of an object this is. If you adjust the LOD group to basically what it is. Is this a part of level architecture, a small prop, a large prop, decorations, vista, foliage, or something with high detail? It's going to automatically adjust these settings using the number of LODs you've told it to and then compute some values. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's set it back to four like I have here, but let's tell it this is a small prop. It's a prop in the world that is small in size. We're going to yes to overwrite and it's going to go ahead and give us some settings. Now when we zoom out, you'll notice we no longer have instantly 0, 1, 2, and 3. But now we have 0, 1, 2, and then 3 all the way back here. And if you can see, it's actually getting a little bit less detail. If we look at the top left at our triangle count, we have 120, 240, 480, and 960. It went ahead and basically just cut our triangles in half every single time. It also adjusted the screen size based on what we told it it was. We told it's a small prop. So back to about here, our current screen size is about 0 .001, we get LOD3. If we change this to a large prop, for example, and hit yes, it's going to recompute and we'll scroll back. And now you'll notice we have some different settings in here. We're going to get roughly the same for the breakdown, but our screen size may change. If we change it to something like level architecture, and let's go ahead and apply the ch some changes here. Uh, stop it. We're going to end up with different settings. So let's go with three and then change it back. Let's go to four. But telling it's level architecture, it's going to give us some different zooming settings. You can see we pretty much went from zero to three because this is designed to be a larger item it, and because it's got a larger item it's going to have a different setting for LOD and the screen size. So pretty much it's a nice little feature to get some built-in LODs out of the engine and without having to use your digital content creation software like Max or Maya or Moto to create LODs. It's not the best. There are some things you can tweak. For example, let's change it back to small. 
let's say I want three level of details and we can go ahead and it'll it's working fine but let's say I wanted it to have even more of a culling at the end of LOD2 I wanted two to be even worse well you have all the individual settings here and by default it's gonna look like this so we have our default LOD one and then two and then you have your screen size settings those are easily adjusted if you uncheck auto compute you can adjust these how you want them the reduction settings is what matters these are not going to be covered in detail these are covered separately but basically how much is it going to destroy it how much is it going to deviate from the original and then you have some errors error um, how much is it allowed to error and then things such as angles and shading and texture but the percent triangles is what matters right now we can see it's going in half every single time we have 100 percent 50 percent and 25 percent but let's say once we get to this point at lod2 i really don't care about it anymore you drop down to something like 10 and apply it's going to deconstruct it even more now when we get to lod2 it's down to 94 and you know what we didn't really see too much of a difference i mean look we have we had 25 percent before which looks like this and we have 10 percent now which looks like this with it that far away, you're not going to see too much of a difference, but we're going to end up cutting off. Let's see, we went from 25, 240 triangles to 10%, 94 triangles. We dropped off, what, 140, 150 triangles? Imagine if you have a bunch of these, and each one saves you 150. So that's a nice way to go ahead and adjust. And of course, you can adjust up or down. If, for example, our LOD1 isn't good enough, give it a little bit more and apply now we've got 76 percent we've got more triangles in there and of course it's all adjustable but the nice thing is this is all built into the engine now as a 4.14 it's a great way to just simply get better performance with a little bit less visual quality but generally only on things that are far away where it doesn't matter and without having to use this third-party program you can literally just decide for example here's some stairs i was playing with earlier Here's some stair static mesh. Let's go ahead and reset it back to none. And here are my stairs. I could just simply go in here. This is going to be, oh, let's put this bigger. My stairs are going to be level architecture. I want three groups for that. And then boom, that's it, I'm done. Now it's gonna go ahead and change based on settings as it goes along. And of course, the farther away, the better the quality it's going to give me in terms of it looking right now very small for the screen size because I set this to level architecture. Let's go large prop. Let's try that one. And there we go. See? Then we can go back to maybe three. Auto compute distances might be something smart in this one to not auto compute. But if we look at it, really, if those are our stairs and we're this far away, we adjust our LOD levels. Is it really going to matter much if your stairs basically go from being able to see the stairs to something flat like that when you're this far away and it's such a tiny part of the rest of your scene? Probably not. So that's it. It was a little bit long, but I wanted to show this nifty little feature in 4.14. By default, it's just simply going to give you better performance with a little bit less quality. It's meant for static meshes primarily. As far as I know, and I tested it in the lid, last version it will not work on skeletal meshes right now that would be nice in the future and i believe they plan on doing that